Hello friends, today we are going to see the pre-anesthetic assessment and its importance. Let's get on to the video. Start with patient identification. So first identify the patient, with his ID number, name and date of birth. Then collect history of the patient this contains the following 5 things. Any medical illness in past or present. History of allergy to any drug. History of medications. History of previous anesthesia. History of personal habits, smoking, alcoholism or drug abuse. You can remember it by this mnemonic may I postpone the presentation. Then physical examination of a patient it has two main points, vitals and systemic examination. And vitals includes temperature, pulse, blood pressure, respiratory rate. The systemic examination includes, cardiovascular system, respiratory system, hepatic system, nervous system, abdomen and spine. In the respiratory system examination, other than routine assessment breath holding time should be assessed in every patient. It is a simple way to find respiratory problems. To perform this, the patient is asked to hold the breath after full inspiration. If the patient can hold their breath more than 25 seconds he is normal 15 to 25 seconds is borderline. If it is less than 15 seconds this indicates severely diminished cardiorespiratory reserve. Okay that's all for today hope you enjoy the video and subscribe to my channel to get more videos related to anesthesia thanks for watching, see you in the next video.